Hi everybody. Um, I haven't got my mic. Can you guys forgive me for that? I'll find it afterwards. Um, so, again, I've been gone for a while. Um, okay now, it's been a bit of a wild one. Um, but I feel like I need to just quickly address what's happened before I start vlogging again. Um, because you guys are obviously going to notice. I don't, I don't really want to talk about it, but it's happened and it is what it is. And I have to tell you guys on here before I come back. So, um, basically, oh man, uh, those of you guys that follow me on Instagram might already know this, but my little paparoo, Pierre, um, passed away a couple of weeks ago, suddenly. And yeah, I was actually meaning to vlog the day it happened. I wanted to come back and start vlogging properly, but obviously that happened and it was just like, it was awful. Um, so yeah, if you don't see him in the vlogs, well, when you don't see him in the vlogs, now you know that is why. Um, it's been really difficult. Like he literally was my best friend you guys know how much I love my dog and he was like basically the only constant thing in my life for four years that loved me unconditionally and he gave me purpose and stuff and I feel like it's so weird now I feel so lost without him like I just feel like I don't know what to do with myself um we weren't here when it happened I was in the city i just arrived at the city um that i'm thinking of moving to um i've been going up to visit and kind of explore and stuff and yeah it was just it was all so sudden and just unexpected um i don't really want to talk about what happened and stuff yet because i just don't think i can but um just know that he was like super happy before it happened and it's just one of those things that you can't explain and you can't there was nothing I could have really done to prevent it um, but I'm just happy that I got to you know spend the last four years with him oh god um, like I was so blessed to have Pierre. Oh, fuck's sake. As my first dog, like he was the most amazing dog. The sweetest, most intelligent, like just most loving dog. And anyone that ever met him, even people that didn't like dogs were like, oh my God, like he is so cute. Like, People that were scared of dogs would love him. Um, like he touched everyone's life. And God, yeah, I just feel so blessed that I was lucky enough to have him as my, like, fuck, um, companion for the last four years. He really was my best friend. But yeah, everything just feels really like weird. So like I was saying, um, I had been visiting the city that I want to move to and I hadn't really been at home properly until the last few days. And like, it's been really hard being back home without him. Like obviously when I'm out and about and doing stuff, there's distraction, but like, not hearing him snore or his little feet like patter along the hardwood floors like anytime I grab my keys and they jingle to get something I'd you know I'd hear him run to come out with me um so yeah that's been really difficult being back here um so I've just been trying to like adjust to that and like adjust to like the new normal and the new routine without him um, which has been super super weird and I just needed a bit of time um, and I hope you guys can understand and those of you that have messaged me on Instagram I just want to say that I've read all your messages 
and I want to say thank you so much for your support and love and I'm sorry that I haven't replied but I just find it really difficult to talk about Fuck. I wasn't supposed to cry oh, it's so like embarrassing I'm so sorry <laughs> and I know some of you guys might think oh he's just a dog but he was so much more than that to me and he got me through some of the most difficult periods of my life so yeah fuck anyway I just wanted to let you guys know that um, and I would really appreciate it if you guys don't ask me questions and like don't ask me what happened because it's really painful still um, I'll talk about it when I'm ready but obviously right now I can like I'm finding it really difficult um, oh god I was fine like I just don't I hate talking about it like I still I still almost can't believe it's real um, but yeah I just wanted to start the vlog by letting you guys know um so that like not that we can move on but so that I can carry on and get back to vlogging and stuff now um I've missed you guys a lot and yeah I'm ready to share I guess the new chapter in my life now um there's been a lot going on um which I'm excited to share with you but also you know is new and exciting and yeah I don't I don't know I don't know what I'm saying but um I was meant to go back up to the city I'm moving to this weekend but I'm not sure if I can because my dad's hurt is back um oh. but if I do go then I will definitely be vlogging and taking you guys along with me which is super exciting and yeah I feel like also this is a bit strange but basically um the fact that Pierre passed away there um and then after it happened there were so many like weird synchronicities um that were happening the like the four or five days I was there um I I feel like and the fact that he was so happy as well um it's almost like a sign to me that that is where I need to be um so yeah it's definitely gonna happen um it's just a matter of when I'm not really sure at the moment because of like my living situation and stuff um but I kind of do want to just get out of here as soon as possible like I, London's my city and I love it but I just need a change like I've been talking about moving somewhere else for so long now and not that there's nothing good left here for me but just everything especially where I live now reminds me of Pierre and there's just I've got so many bad like the last four years I've got so many bad memories attached to like basically everywhere in London that I just feel like it's time to change up the vibes so yeah it's definitely gonna happen I'm hoping to move maybe like July August um but we'll see if I do go this weekend which I'm not sure if I will, but the next time I do go anyway, I'm going to start um, checking out like properties and stuff. So I will take you guys along with me if I can. I might be a bit weird like vlogging in there, but I'll definitely keep you guys in the loop because, yeah, things are changing. Um, we're still waiting for dad's treatment to happen, um, like to be approved and stuff. So that's also something that is currently kind of making things a bit difficult um but I think once he's had some treatment he can go back home and see his boys and stuff and then I can really figure out like what I want to do um because I think at the moment we still need to be in London just so that we're close to like hospitals and stuff but yeah exciting times like it's so crazy how like life is just mad like things start to look up and then something horrible happens 
but there's always that silver lining and yeah I don't know it's just it's just crazy the way life works is absolutely insane absolutely insane like yeah I didn't I didn't think I'd be able to get through something like this but yeah life will throw shit in the fan and then throw you like a little inkling of hope so that little inkling of hope is what I'm clinging on to right now um but yeah sorry I'm a mess but yes I just wanted to let you guys know oh my god my whole bra is out and say hello and I hope you guys have been well um like I really hope you guys have been well what have you guys been up to since lockdown has eased um I I felt so weird the first day that lockdown eased um I went out into the city and like I felt overwhelmed it was like sensory overload I couldn't my brain couldn't like compute all the sounds and smells and like visuals of people everywhere it was insane and I felt a little bit disorientated and I still do to this day but it's also like just amazing to see people out and happy and things kind of slowly but surely going back to normal so hopefully hopefully it stays this way this time um it's been so nice to be able to see my friends and stuff because obviously I've been like super super locked down because I'm you know trying to stay extra safe for my dad and stuff as well um and oh, also so basically after the weekend where Pierre passed away I came back and I went straight to my mum's because she had her second wedding dress try on which was insane she looks absolutely incredible um so that was kind of a nice thing to come back to um after such a like kind of dark negative time um so yeah <laughs> um it's been cool and then after that someone came to visit me in London and we went out with my friends for drinks at a pub and that was great and we all got really drunk it was ah oh, it was just so nice to be with my people and have the support that I needed and like I guess the distraction as well um so anyway I'm gonna stop rambling on I've got some work stuff to do so I don't know if I'm gonna continue vlogging today I feel like this could be a whole vlog in itself for god's sake it's 30 I've been talking for 13 minutes <laughs> Um, but yeah, if I don't carry on vlogging today, 100% going to carry on vlogging tomorrow, um, and get the ball rolling. So yeah, thank you for watching and being patient with me. Um, and thank you in advance for like not prying and asking more questions about the situation, um, and kind of considering my mental health, my mental state, um, and just my feelings. I've missed you all. I love you all. Um, and I'll see you soon.